Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is another QFA. I know it's been like two and a half, two weeks since the last one. I wanted to give it a little more time just so more questions can come in. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Yes, my wrist, thumb, hand, whatever you want to call it, scaphoid bone, is still broken. Five more weeks to go and I think this is day six of everyday vlogging and there's a bird right there we are in my backyard nice green lush birds chirping without further ado let's just get in these questions princess warrior asks would you rather paint or draw i'd rather draw i mean i can't draw but i can like color in pretty good in my opinion unique saren asks have you met any other famous people than the ace family and if you did were they nice or mean or dot 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 i met jake paul at my work, the place I work, although I can't work for six weeks because of this, he used to shop there, but now his private chef shops there. But he was there one time and I met him. It was actually before I met the Ace Family and he was super nice. Andrea Rodriguez asks, do you have any phobias? No. If you only had 24 hours to live, what would you do? I would just go out and do the craziest things that I could think of at that very moment. Vengio Altamarino asks, how long to staying with your girlfriend? Um, if you're asking how long I've been with her, two and a half years. If you're asking how long I want to stay with her, the rest of my life. Mess the soccer player asks, how old am I? And I love your vids. Well, thank you, and I'm 19. My birthday's actually in less than, no, like a month and a week, month and two weeks. Summer Klopp asks, what's your biggest regret? Uh, not starting YouTube earlier, and do you have any advice on how to start a YouTube channel? It's pretty simple. I usually stick to five things <laughs> with them. Make videos you like to do, film everything you can, don't care if like people think it's weird or whatnot. Post consistently, try to spread across all social media platforms, like create an Instagram, Twitter, Facebook for your YouTube channel. And five, just stay true to yourself. I mean, don't let comments or people telling you things stop you from doing what you wanna do. Eat Cookie Monster asks, how did you learn how to pole dance? Okay guys, if you didn't know I know how to pole dance, go back in one of my old videos and you'll see my hidden talent is me pole dancing. But how I learned, honestly, I just hopped on it and started learning tricks, I guess. I was just doing whatever felt natural and it evolved into me learning how to do tricks. Rosa Gonzalez asks, what's your skin routine and can you do a house tour? My skin routine, I mean, I use Proactive, but I don't use it enough. That's why I have acne problems. It has been, it's definitely been worse in the past, but it's also been better in the past. So in my opinion, I don't like it right now. And I don't know if I can do a house tour because it is my mom's house and I don't know if she wants like all of it shown, although I've pretty much showed like most of it. Life of Shell Marie. You actually have an interesting question. You asked, how would you feel if you actually genuinely love someone so much, but they cheated on you? Not saying your girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. Um, so my very first girlfriend, you know, you they always say your first girlfriend, first boyfriend, whatever is like your first love. I mean, I don't still love her. I don't even talk, I haven't seen her in like five years. But my first girlfriend, we were dating for five months and apparently she had been cheating on me like the entire time. So I've been through something like that and it really, really hurts. If it was someone that you like genuinely super love and you're in love with and they cheat on you, I don't know. I mean, it really, it's a hard question to answer because some people say, you know, I'm gonna leave them right away, but some people would want to try to work through it. But at the same time, since I've been through something like that, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. And Melina Martinez asks, what will be your subscriber's name? Honestly, I have no idea. I want you guys to decide. I want you guys to keep submitting your ideas. You've submitted a lot of them. I've seen some that I liked. I've seen some that I don't like. But I want you guys to keep submitting them. I want to get all the ideas out there instead of rushing into picking one and then having more subscribers come and having more people like a different ones. I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna call you guys, you know, what's up guys, hey guys, whatever it is, but eventually there will be a name and it will be awesome. It'll be the best, most lit name ever. Uh, Lucia Gonzalez asks, do you plan to travel soon? If yes, where? Honestly, I have no idea because I don't have the money to travel. Maybe I might go up to visit my uncle and my aunt. They live in Washington this summer. Um, it really depends because I would want to bring Kiana with me. So if her grandma lets her and if they can have us up, then I'll go there and Obviously vlog, they live in the forest, it's so beautiful there, horses. Tain Ryan asks, how old were you when you had your first girlfriend? I was 14 when I first started dating her and I was 15 when we broke up. What are some goals you would like to accomplish by the end of this year? I would love to have a fan base lane by the end of the year, have my first meet and greet by the end of the year and have 100K subscribers by the end of the year. So hopefully I can. And I would like, I would love to stay consistent with the everyday vlogging for as long as I can, so past the year. And you also asked, Xbox 360 or PS4. I actually play Xbox One, 
And then, do I play any sports? I used to, but not anymore. I like potatoes asked, what's better, sushi or pizza? That's honestly a hard question, because it really just depends on the mood you're in. Um, overall, I would have to I would have to go with pizza, because like, pizza you can have any time of the day, any mood you're in, it just always goes good, and there's so many good pizza places. Sushi is really good, don't get me wrong, but it's not like you can wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I want to eat sushi, or there's not as many good places, but I can wake up at three in the morning and be like, oh, pizza sounds bomb right now, and go grab some cold pizza if I had some. So I would, I would have to go with pizza. Kelsey Hudson asks, do you prefer skateboarding or long, longboarding and why? I would say skateboarding. I used to skateboard a lot when I was younger. I've never longboarded, so that's why I would choose skateboarding. Alaya Contreras, sorry if I mispronounced your name, asks, why do you have an interest in the YouTube lifestyle? I love to entertain people and YouTube is the best, easiest outlet in order to create content that you like that can entertain people. Of course, you can like create content on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Snapchat, whatever it is, but YouTube is the biggest scale where the most people can see it and the most people can be entertained by it. And it's it really has unlimited potential. You know, Instagram is like a minute video. It's just YouTube is the best. Kenny Salazar asks, who are you going for the KSI versus Logan Paul fight? I'm voting for Logan Paul, but I also just hope it's a good fight. The snack that smiles back underscore Aaron, that's a pretty clever name, asks, when you met the Ace Family, how did you react when they gave you a shout out? I was on, okay, so I was sitting on my couch and I was watching Westworld with Kiana. If you guys don't watch that show, you really should. But I was watching it, I started getting all these Instagram messages and comments saying hashtag Ace Family, hashtag Ace Family. I didn't really know what it was, I didn't pay much attention to it. Some girl had DM'd me and she was asking me for YouTube advice. If you guys wanted to message me on Instagram, email me, feel free, Alexan underscore, I'll do my best to reply. But she had messaged me asking for YouTube advice, she asked how I made my thumbnails, etc. blah blah blah. And she, I guess she said I found you through the Ace family. I read it, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. And then I constantly throughout the day, guys, I always go to my YouTube channel, look, to see how many subscribers I've gained, lost, view count, new comments. I'm always like checking it because I always just want to see like, I, I just like checking on the channel. So I saw that I went from 58 subscribers last time I checked to 490 and I, I was, I honestly thought my phone, my YouTube channel was hacked. So I refreshed it maybe thinking it was a glitch and then it jumped to 800 something and I just started freaking out. I didn't know what it was. And then someone, I went back and looked at the Instagram things and people were saying that I was in the Ace Family video. I went and watched their video that day, skipped all the way to the end, watched it, and all the way at the end was when they shouted me out. I drove over to my cameraman Jarrett's house, showed him the video, it was crazy. I actually made a video about it, you can go check that out. Multi Fandom asks, are you friends with the Ace Family? I am not. Viv Gonzalez asks, what software do you use to create custom thumbnails? They look great. Well, thank you, I use Photoshop actually. It's not anything special, it's just Photoshop. Um, look up tutorials on how to do vlogging thumbnails and you should be able to find it super easy. Ninja Diver 36 asks, how's my wrist doing? It's doing all right. Um, kind of hurts a little bit, but other than that, it's it's fine. Cool Paul asks, "Are you going to make merch? Eventually, I would love to do that and design like the coolest, sexiest, hottest, best looking merch ever." But you know, that's way off in the future. Shelby Gold says, "Yo, I think we're sitting next to each other at the basketball game." Okay, guys, I just want to address this. If you're going to the Ace Family basketball event. Comment down below your seat number and I can tell you if I'm sitting next to you or not. Haley Fleeman asks, how has YouTube changed your life? YouTube has changed my life in the fact that I am a lot happier now because I always used to tell myself I can't be successful on YouTube and, and or I can't entertain people, my videos will never get seen, blah blah blah, all the super negative stuff. Something flipped in my mind and I was like, you know what, I want to do it, I can do it, I know I can. And yes, a shout out helped project me up there, but I believe that if I got a shout out and my videos weren't good, nothing would have happened. So I believe that with like the hard work that I've put into it and the dedication, it's just, it's crazy. I mean, some examples, I got my internship because of my YouTube channel. I'm hosting a game show because of my YouTube channel. I got to, like all you, I got to, kind of get to know all you guys and you guys got to get to know me because of my YouTube channel and I get like I don't know I feel like I have more confidence because I can walk around with the camera in public doing stupid stuff and I do not care what people think and it's just crazy so 
I mean, I really love it. I want to keep doing it. I don't ever want to stop. It's fun. Thank you for your question and thank you everyone for your support. I love you guys so much. You have no idea. And that was the last question, guys. I just want to give the shout out to JMP Nation. Guys, if you want a shout out, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram, Alexander underscore. Come back and comment, done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.